Hi, welcome back to another C CSS Grid tutorial uh, where I show you how to use uh, some of the basic things uh, from CSS Grid Layout. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about aligning the items on the grid. So in the previous videos we've given an introduction and in the second video I talked about placing items in specific parts of the grid or allowing it to auto flow. But in this one I'm talking about how do we align uh, the items inside of the cells but also how can we align items all together uh, so there are two different ways you can do it at the um, you can do it at the grid wrapper level or you can do it at the individual item level and I'll show you how to do that it's the same property but it's just applied uh, either globally uh, on the wrapper or it's applied individually uh, for each grid item so I have a grid set up here uh, six six different items are in six different cells and then that's wrapped by a grid wrapper and then uh, we have our grid wrapper with display grid we have a three column grid uh, it's equal space so it's kind of stretchy and squishy um, the grid template rows uh, so the first row is 300 pixels tall and the second row is 200 uh, there's a gap of one rim uh, so 16 pixels and then there's a height this uh, grid is taking up the entire the entire height and width of the viewport so it's all changing uh, responsibly. Now I have gone through and I've set the grid item uh, height to 100% and the background to red. Um, this is just so that you can see the grid itself and then we also have uh, just a little text item inside of each um, inside of each grid cell. I'm sorry it's a grid cell. So what we can do is uh, we can't do a whole lot here because it's filled 100% and we'll get back to this. Uh, so what we're going to do is I've created just a, a 100 by 100 grid item <clears throat> and uh, so it's 100 pixels tall and then 100 pixels wide and then this is uh, inside of our grid itself like this is the uh, it's still keeping the shape and the form of the larger grid cells but this is the only thing that's uh, with the background of red now what we can do <coughs> is I told you that we can do globally so globally if we just go up here to the grid wrapper we can actually shift all of the grid uh, cells at one time and the way that we do that is uh, similar to flexbox but not exactly the same so we say justify dash content and then we have a few different um, we have a few different values the first value is going to be start and that's the default so with flex you do uh, flex start but with grid it's just start and center uh, so we have start that's the default we can do center where we center a line uh, it's not it's uh, justify items is that it okay not content but justify items justify content moves the whole grid uh, inside of its container if it's smaller than the container sorry so justify items it moves all of the individual items to the center but you could see that it moved them all together right and then we can do end okay so those are our choices and then we also we also have something called stretch which stretch should fill up the entirety of the space but since we don't have that available necessarily uh, because of the 100 by 100 pixel parameters here on this box it's not it's not actually filling in the whole space but if you had something that would fill in the whole space then it would uh, stretch would fill out the entire cell it's kinda like uh, like making it 100 percent both ways so you have start, end, center, and stretch. And so remember this is uh, justify is horizontal, right? So that's the horizontal um, aspect of it. So we'll just set it back to center. And then you can see that our first row is 300 pixels tall and the second row is 200 pixels. So there should be some space, you know, another 100 pixels of space here. And there should be two times as much here. So this is 100 pixels, there should be 100 and 100. 
and so we have uh, quite a bit of empty space in our cells here so what we can use is the align items so this is just like in flexbox so align items again the default is start and we can also do a center align which moves everything and so now these are perfectly centered inside of their s grid cells and then we can also do end <coughs> so it's centered horizontally and then vertically it's at the baseline of the cell and then also we have the the stretch function which again we are not because of our parameters on this box it's not going to work so we can perfectly center center our grid so if you had items like this and you had a larger uh, cell for some reason then you can make that perfectly centered we could go back and we could readjust this to 300 <coughs> and then we'd have a perfectly centered you know 300 by 300 grid so that's just for your items are smaller so let's just redo that and um, you can do a similar thing if you don't want to apply it to the entire grid you could actually apply it here so our grid snap back you can apply it to the grid item by using two similar but separate commands uh, these um, properties <coughs> so where we use justify items here that takes all of the items in the grid but if we use justify self so this is a maybe a new one for you and justify self takes each grid item and it justifies itself using these different properties so again we can do the same thing uh, where we take all of the grid items and we move them uh, to the end so this is just a different way of doing this up here so let's make those center again actually let's take that off so that we just have our boxes <coughs> okay so I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can go about uh, programmatically doing um, these boxes we can do them individually and align them each individually to different parts of the grid or we can use uh, some pseudo classes so if we do the first pseudo class so let's just do center center and then the way that uh, this works is that for each grid item each even numbered grid item it should justify uh, to the center and to the center okay so this is a one not even so two is even three is not even and the reason these look funny is because this one so this is the left edge of the last one and so it's going to be in the upper left this is the left edge of the first one and it's going to be in the upper left but this one remember here's the line right here this is the box so it's centered and the same thing is happening over here uh, with these boxes as well so we have uh, this one is centered but these you know this one's not so it's a little bit weird because in the top row you have two odd numbers the bottom row you only have one so it looks a little funny but you can see some kind of cool uh, layout types of things that you can do just with this one simple property so each of the children that are even numbered so two four six eight whatever are going to be justified center center and then you could just as easily go back through here <coughs> and do each odd number so right now they're both centered so everything is centered that's just like doing this one uh, center center but let's say we change this one to uh, end and this one to end so now we have <coughs> we have our even numbers two four six those are all centered perfectly we have our odd numbers are down in the bottom right hand corners of their grid cells and still even uh, kind of a, an interesting and funky layout just from doing that one uh, easy thing all right and then uh, oh we don't have to necessarily do that uh, we can come through and we can individually uh, do our different uh, grid items sorry there we go 
So then we can come through and individually do our different grid items. Don't need that. Although I could show you that. You could do a, you could do one of them a different size, right? I can show you. <clears throat> okay, so we've changed the res we've resized this one to uh, 300 pixels wide and well, that's not right. Maybe this is where you'll see the uh, stretch. You can see it. Okay. So here with this one, you can see that it stretches to 300 pixels wide uh, because that's what we've told it to do. It's filling up the entire space, and then we can do this one too. So it stretches uh, to fit the entire available space. Now it's a little bit different. Um, because it's 200 pixels tall, yeah, it's not going to fill the entire space, maybe. We did three, yeah. Okay, so if it's 300 pixels tall, then it's going to fill, <coughs> it's going to fill up the entire space. Uh, so you can see how you can make some interesting little things there, too. Um, let's just pull that back to where it was at 100. Let's just remove that. <clears throat> but we want this one to be uh, start. So it's going to justify center to the middle <clears throat> and then it's going to align itself uh, to the start. And this will be grid item 2. Do I have that marked? Yeah. Um, and then let's say grid item 3. <clears throat> aligned to the end. We want it to be uh, just of itself. Start. And these may not be working because of the uh, because of the declarations up here. It might be a little higher in the hierarchy. So let's take that off. I thought I could do that, but all right. So uh, grid item two. Uh, we have aligned to the center, so it's in the center, but it's also at start. Um, if we do grid item 1, then we could justify to the end, and then it's aligned to the top. So this one is centered, and if we went to this one, and you could see them side by side if we do start on this one. So it should pull it over. So these two are, this is the top right hand corner of the cell. This is the top left hand corner of this cell. All right, so you can see how you can do this. Uh, I've just kind of gone through each of these and put them in very specific places. Uh, maybe this one we could do at the end and then push it all the way to the right. So you can see how you can make some really interesting uh, grid choices just by aligning each one. So at the uh, at the larger level of the grid wrapper, we use justify items and we use align items. And at the grid le at the grid item level level, we're using something called justify self. So this grid item here, if you designate it, you can justify where inside of the grid cell that you want it to be. <clears throat> now let's go, and uh, I'll sh I want to show you one more thing, and this is really where the power of grid, uh, you start to see it, is when you start to mix grid with uh, flexbox. So I think this is where kind of the powerful parts of grid begin to show up. Boy, that was okay. Let's not do that. <clears throat> now we have our, our grid matrix here. Again, it's stretchy and it's 300 by 200. But inside of it, we have some content, right? So this might be uh, the way that you would want to do it, where we have some content. Um, not sure what I did there, but I did something. There we go. OK. Um, <clears throat> so we have some grid content inside of this. So we have our item 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what we want to do is we want the background to be red, just like this. But we want our item content to be in specific places inside of each of these. Um, 
and in fact uh, let me just do a little bit more uh, content so let's do that so we can really see and then we'll repeat that a couple times so that we can just get a sense of of what's going to happen with this content so the way that we would do that is we would come into uh, again you could do this at the grid item level or you can do this at each individual item and I'm just going to do it for each individual item and the ones that we want to move are let's say item 1 <coughs> we don't need that necessarily because it's a hundred percent so what we're going to do is we're going to say fl uh, display flex and so the way that we do that is that we turn this uh, grid item number one this cell right here we turn it into a flex container and this is how you begin a uh, flex container if you have not learned flexbox yet I encourage you to <coughs> because flexbox is meant to fit inside just like we're using it now this is how flexbox was actually meant to work it was supposed to work inside of a container uh, in the container you turn it into a flex container and then you begin to manipulate the information uh, and the content inside of that flex container uh, and then these these grid cells are perfect uh, flex containers so we say display flex and if we want to position this uh, squarely in the middle we would say justify content center <coughs> and align items center okay and then now we have a perfectly centered um, piece of content inside of our grid container okay so uh, when you're doing flexbox you use justify content <coughs> to decide on this um, the main axis so our main axis by default is the X axis so the main axis controls horizontal and then align items controls the Y axis which is a secondary axis and in this particular situation <coughs> it's uh, because the row because the start I mean the uh, natural flow of display flex if you don't change the orientation the natural flow is horizontal so we have horizontal and vertical position okay and we have a different set of um, a different set of terminology so if we want to put it at the bottom we say flex end <coughs> so you have to use a different type of property but you can see how it aligns it vertically uh, at different places and flex start is the default which is at the top so you can see how using Flexbox you can come and you can change how things are oriented inside um, inside of the uh, box okay uh, you could even do like a, that one's not going to show up very much because uh, the P is a full 100% width so we're just going to be able to do uh, the vertical on this, but you can see how I can move things down. Um, if this had some, if this was smaller than the container, then you could use the justify content. As it is, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> so this is how Flexbox is supposed to work. It's supposed to work inside of a div or inside of a container, uh, and specifically inside of a grid container or a grid wrapper. So I hope that that gives you a better sense of how can you align items uh, inside of the grid cells but also how can you align the grid cells uh, if you have any questions or comments or uh, anything else just leave uh, leave those down in the comment section below again please uh, just give a thumbs up it's, it's super easy to do and it helps um, this video to get found which helps more people to learn grid and so I hope that you help us out that way uh, I appreciate you watching and uh, again if you have a comment please leave it and I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. All right, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.